Hi guys! In this tutorial, I will show you how to model this lamp for 3D printing in a browser program, SelfCAD. So to begin, click on a cylinder. Type in top radius 62.5, bottom radius 62.5, height 5, set vertical segments to maximum, and click Finalize Shape. Then, I will create another cylinder with radiuses set to 20 and height to 50. Exclude this cylinder from the first one using Boolean Difference. Now, create another cylinder, which will be the walls of the bottom part of our rocket. Set the radiuses to 70 and 62.5, height also 50. Select and delete top and bottom surfaces. Then, click Add Volume. I have thickness set to 2 there, which is exactly what I need, so I simply click Apply. Now go to the Edit menu and select Push-Pull with Offsets. Select all outer polygons using Polygon Selection Tool with Loop Selection Switcher turned on. OK, back to Push-Pull with Offsets. It allows you to generate macros by selecting one or few tools, set values and number of times they will be executed. I will select Extrusion, set it to 1. Also, add Scale and set the Y value to negative 5 and Position. Again, set the Y to negative 5. Click Execute Macro. You can see that our wall is now extruded and 5 mm smaller, as well as shifted down by 5 mm. Now I see that the shift is too big, so undo and change the Y value and position from 5 to 2.5 and again execute. Then remove position and change size values to 4, 0, 4. This is where we'll later put the lamp's dome. Next step will be adding resolution. Click resolution, set it to 4. That should be enough. Now I will shape my model using polygon selection and scale tools. Hide this shape and add another cylinder. Set radiuses 30, height 50, and horizontal segments 4. Using Loop Polygon Selection, select the top polygons and click Scale. Make X and Z 46. Then, select the entire cylinder and scale down by 13 by Y coordinate. This is the model of the socket nut we will need to create the attachments. So we'll need to scale it and create the attachments. Create another cylinder, radius is 30, height 20, and maximum vertical segments. Scale it and remove top and bottom surfaces. Apply resolution 5 and using polygon selection, move, and scale while having wireframe on. Create the inner walls for the attachments. Then, using Add Volume tool, create the attachments. Now, let's create a cube, which we will use to cut half of the attachment using Boolean Difference. Position the models to make sure the screw of the socket will fit. Then, create a round opening in the walls. Again, add a cylinder, radius 10, height 20, and maximum vertical segments.
Position and scale the cylinder and open Copy Offsets panel from the Edit menu. This is similar to push-pull with offsets. Here, you can find similar tools as well as a pivot tool. You can save, name, and delete macros. Pivot is copying around a set vertical line, and that's what I'm going to use. Set the number of copies to seven. Click Copy, and then select all the created shapes and the base. And using Boolean Difference, exclude the cylinders. Okay, I need to create legs and the dome. Let's begin with legs. I will move up the model slightly and create a box with dimensions 10, 10, and 5. Rotate it and go to push-pull with offsets. Select one side, then in macros, add extrusion and size. Set extrusion to one, size 32, then extrusion 5, size 0, and amount 2. Then amount 5, size minus 5, extrusion 5. This way, you can easily create a leg. Using Move, you can also move one selected polygon. OK. So rotate the shape and using tools Bend, Scale, Polygon Selection, Rotate and Move, I will shape the leg of the rocket.
Then, I will exclude the legs from the base using Boolean difference with Keep Original Objects on. Okay, so now I only need to create a dome. Take a sphere, increase the number of segments to 3, and radius to 80. Now, we need to adjust the size of the sphere according to the base of the lamp. After that, create a cube and cut the bottom part of the sphere and stretch it. So dome is ready. I will print it using spiral vase. So now you can either download the models or slice them directly in self-cad by choosing print option from the file menu. Don't forget to review recommendations about 3D printing and assembly on Thingiverse. You can find the links under the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.